Hi, you're not, you're not growing and you're not singing, eh? Children, hello? Read your Bible, pray every day, pray every day, pray every day. Every day if you want to. I want you to grow if you want to. Amen. Grow. Everyone, you grow. We are growing, all of us. Read your Bible. Pray every day if you want to grow. Wonderful. One child to come and pray for us. One child, come. No one? Yes, baby girl, come. What is your name? Christine. Uh, Chris, eh? Christine. Christine is praying for us. Our kind and loving master, God, thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for being with us. Oh, God, may you forgive us our sins and be with us. Oh, God, as we are going to start our children's sermon, may you be with us, guide us, and protect us. In Jesus' name, pray and believe. Wonderful. God bless you. Hello, children. Do you know me? Am I new? Wow. Now, I am teacher Milka. Teacher? So, hello, children. Now, hello, children, all of us. Wonderful. Now, our topic today, I want to talk to the children, yeah? Are you getting me? Some people are playing. Some children are playing. Good. Now, our topic today is about prayer. We are talking about? Prayer. About? Prayer. And you say it faster. About? Prayer. Wonderful. Now, and the main theme is marvelous recovery. Marvelous now, how many have ever prayed? I'm talking to children, yes? How many have ever prayed? Wonderful. How many have been sick at one point? Wonderful. Now, who healed you? I can't get the response. Who healed you? Wow. Who healed you, big children? Wonderful. Now, there's this girl, there's this girl called Alois. Alois was seven years old. How many are seven years old here? Seven years old, you stand up. Wonderful. Good. Good boys, eh? And girls, wonderful. Sit down. Now, this girl, one day, she was playing... Uh, behind their house. Then all of a sudden, she had a siren. A siren is a sound made by? A siren is a sound made by? Do you know ambulance? Yes. Wonderful. Now, she had the sound next to their house. Then she went to see what was happening. When she go, I mean, she went there, she found the dad being rolled, I mean, being carried to the ambulance to be taken to the hospital. She didn't know what was happening, and she cried. She cried. Now, when she was crying, the grandmother got hold of her and told her that the dad was sick and uh, felt sick, so... She will, I mean, he will recover. Then this girl, Alois, went on her knees because she loved the dad. Do you love your family members? Do you love them? So she loved the dad, and she continually prayed for the dad, whether the dad was missing or the dad was in the hospital. So one day, after some time, 
After some days, the mother came back because the mother went with the dad to the hospital. The mother came back and told her she would uh, go with her to see the dad. She was very happy. She prepared, she took shower and uh, put on her good clothes and went with the mom to the hospital to see the dad because the dad had not recovered. Now, reaching the hospital, she went straight to where the dad was and she prayed for the dad to get healed. Do we pray for our family members? Do we pray for the sick? I'm talking to children. Do we pray for them? Now, then the, she had this courage and told dad and mom that she has trust and she trusts God that dad will get healed. Amen? Amen? Now, after one week or so, the dad came over. The dad came home and the dad was a bit better now. The dad could talk, the dad could walk around, but she had, I mean, he had some problems still. So they engaged the therapist. You know a therapist? Who knows a therapist? You know a therapist? A therapist is one who gives the exercise, yeah? To your body when you are, uh, when you have a problem with your bones, he will, Ama, she will massage you, give you exercise. So they continually did this with the prayer of this young girl, until one day the dad could walk very well, the dad could eat, the dad could at least move fast. What do you say? Amen. What do you say? Amen. Now, I want us to read Luke, a child to come here and read for us. Luke, who has a Bible? If you have a Bible, come over. No one has a Bible. Luke 1, verse 37. Who can read for us? I mean, no, I mean, who can read for us? Even the big children. But I expect a child to read. Okay. Teacher. I want you to hear that. Again, teacher. Amen? Amen? For with God, nothing is impossible. And he knows our needs. And he knows at what time to do what? To give us our needs. Now, a question. A question. The story was about who and who? Children, yes, you stand up. Alois, now, wonderful. Alois, appreciate him. I mean, I mean appreciate her. Say amen. amen. Wow. Now, what did Alois do? What did she do? Children, you're letting me down, yeah? What did she do? Uh -huh, yes, Mark. She was prayerful. She was praying. So how many with me promise that we, from today, we will continually pray for our needs, pray for our neighbors, pray for our parents and everybody? How many? Wow. Read your Bible. Good. Read your Bible if you want to. Again, read your Bible. Pray every day. Pray every day. Read your Bible if you want to grow. Stand up, children. Grow, 
read your Bible to grow. Wonderful. We are praying. Humble yourself. We are praying. Thank you, Lord, for this time given unto us. We want to worship you because you're God. This far you brought us. Lord, we say you are Ebenezer. We want to pray that, Lord, as little children, help us to pray and trust you each and every day for our needs. May you bless us. May you bless our parents. For I pray in Jesus' name. 